When will Jesus Christ return? According to scriptures, Christ's return is imminent. In other words, it could be any day. What does this mean for Christians as we await this great day? That's the real question. And what I've noticed is you have two types of Christians when it comes to end times. First is the Christian who has their Bible in one hand and their social media accounts open spending every waking moment trying to predict what chapter of Revelation we're living in. Second is the Christian who is spiritually asleep and has no idea what's going on and lives life with their head in the sand. I'm here to say that both are in the danger zone. Why? Neither one of these have their eyes fixed on Jesus and what he's called us to do. So what has Jesus called us to? First, we're not to calculate the time of the Lord's return. He clearly warned us to avoid that and those who spend their time talking about it all the time. Think of all the content creators you follow that only talk about end times. I urge you now to just unfollow them because they are only driving fear and they do it for views, not to encourage you. Second, do not allow your hearts to grow cold in these evil times. Jesus warned that many people's hearts would grow cold in the end. Jesus connects his warning with the ugliness of end times. And it is the evil that we see that can cause us to grow numb and cold. Look, evil will prevail at times, but we can't allow that to cause us to lose sight of the mission and to question God. Third, we love the lost by sharing the gospel and proclaiming the good news that reconciliation with God is available through Christ and Christ alone. And understand that this is not a suggestion, but a command. Lastly, we fix our eyes on Christ. We remain in Christ and we live for Christ all the days of our lives. Sometimes we as Christians are so busy building our lives based on what may happen instead of building our lives on what will happen. What if the economy folds? What if World War III breaks out? What if nuclear war happens? What if we lose it all? What does that change about our mission and focus while we wait for our Lord Jesus? Right, nothing. No matter how bad it gets here, Christ reigns and he's left his followers with an eternal hope. Jesus promised hardships in this life, but he also promised us that he would be with us until the end of age and that we have an eternal inheritance awaiting us.